Hey, everybody. Good, uh, good noon. This is Zheng Chen from EasyStack as a product manager, and this is my colleague, Hou Ming, who is uh, the, our founding software engineer. And today we will show you the, the ESK 3.0 version, which provides container orchestration capa capacity on multi-tenancy bare metal in dedicated cloud. So let's begin our demo and uh, session today. Uh, there are just four uh, part of this uh, topic. We, we all talk about the easy tech, who is easy tech, and we wh what we are doing. And uh, we all show you the ESKS recamp uh, in the previous uh, OpenStack Summit uh, demo session. And uh, we all show you the ESKS 3.0, uh, the new version of the uh, easy stack product. And uh, the last part, we will give it, you a, a demo show. Oops. Now let's talk about the, the EasySide mission. Uh, we intend to be a world-class software and a company to taking open source technology as a core uh, is what we uh, intend to be and uh, what we are doing now in China. So let's talk about the EasySide. We are the OpenStack Foundation's gold member. We are the Linux Foundation civil member, and uh, we can meet the, the code as uh, in Mitaka and Newton release, TC approved projects contributions are uh, global top 10. And uh, the ESCAS product has gained the uh, Gartner 2016 Kuwender. We provide product and service to over 100 uh, enterprise customers, including the Union Pay, the State Grid, the China Mobile, China Telecom. Uh, post-saving banking of China and the Lenovo SF Express and so on. So all these customers, uh, they are the biggest uh, uh, enterprise customer in China market. So in the previous uh, OpenStack Foundation uh, meetings, they are talking about the, the, there are eight uh, biggest uh, customers in the uh, China market. There are six of them we are served and we provided uh, the production environment in them. Now this is a recap of the ESCAS 1.0 and the 2.0 versions we have already done to provide a dedicated, isolated, and elastic OpenStack cloud uh, within the self-service dashboard. And we provide a unified container management platform to provide a, a methods uh, uh, container orchestration engine uh, ab above the OpenStack. Now, let's talk about uh, the ESCAS 3.0. Uh, in this version of ESCAS, we provide container orchestration management based on the Kubernetes. Uh, you can use it on the dashboard and the manage you pod service uh, replication controller uh, and so on. We can provide a container cluster on bare metal, uh, which based on the bare metal multi-tenancy features, uh, you can have the per-tenant uh, bare metal cluster with running Kubernetes, and you can manage the, the container uh, rise the applications upon them, use dashboard. And uh, this all based on the dedicated host, isolated network, and exclusive storage you can have the, the totally isolated uh, OpenStack cloud with uh, the ability to manage VM, uh, bare metal, and uh, virtual machines. That's what ESCAS 3.0 do. This is the, the architecture, function architecture of the ESCAS 3. dashboard. You can have the dedicated cloud on the, the servers. Above that, we deploy the OpenStack uh, service like Nova Cinder, Neutron, uh, Keystone, Glance. And uh, we have been able to use Ironic and the KVM hypervisor to provide the virtual machines and the bare metal resources. Above that, we, have can, we can uh, deploy a Kubernetes methods or swarm cluster on the virtual machines or bare metal, bare metals. So all these resources, you can use the ESCAS 3.0 dashboard to manage them. <clears throat> now this is the, the detailed architecture that we give, it, 
this to my colleague Ho Ming to introduce this to us. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Ho Ming from EZ Stack. Uh, as my colleague Chen said, next I will introduce our new container service features in our ES class 3.0, and uh, I will demo uh, one platform for VM container and uh, bare metals. And uh, as shown in the architect architecture picture, uh, we build our container service based on community, Magnum, Kubernetes, and uh, open source container solutions. And uh, based on that, we have done more to make container service production ready. Uh, in the next, I will demo the, uh, how our one platform to manage biometer and uh, uh, container service. This. First, we look in our dashboard. Okay, this is our dashboard. And then we change to container panel. Okay, for time saving, I just uh, created a bare metal uh, Kubernetes cluster uh, before the demo. And uh, let's say, how to manage the cluster. This is the service RC and the port. Then let's create a complete one let's create one application, simple Mario. The name So Mario. And uh, we set the replica to three and the CPU memory. And uh, we choose the image Mario port. We create a node port service. Port. Okay, here is the uh, application, application creation interface. It's very simple. Let's just create it. Okay, we can see the port is running on the, the RC replica three. Three ports are running, and uh, the service the service is uh, success successfully created. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, that's the live demo about how to uh, simply manage container service based on bare metal. Okay. That's the live demo. Thanks. Thanks, Ho Ming. Now let's introduce the, the whole uh, product line of the ES Cloud. Uh, expect for the, the uh, container management, you can see we have the uh, replication controller management. Now the Super Mario application is running here. We can scale. Uh, Super Mario to about six replicata. You can see the part is expanding and uh, use the dashboard. You can manage the Kubernetes service uh, very uh, sim simple. Uh, we can see the, the 
the node information is here, and uh, you can see the kernel version system, and uh, you have can change the namespace of Kubernetes to manage you uh, uh, container uh, application cluster. Let's see here and. Uh, uh, in the in the name, you can see we have computer resources, volume resources. We we have the the uh, sim uh, unified storage solutions like uh, uh, the NAS service, uh, object storage, and the volume snapshot backup and the block block storage service. And uh, what's more, you can see we have the uh, bare metal service. You can de deploy a bare metal uh, instance here and uh, set the uh, NIC to the uh, bare metal service to uh, realize that the bare metal uh, is belong to you tenant. In the admin managed, you can see you have all the resources uh, management and uh, we have the ticket system, we have the billing system. All this belong to this ES CAS uh, 3.0 version dashboard. Okay, let's move on. These features, we are highlight some features like multi-tenant of every resources. We have the service RC port management. We have the container image warehouse. Uh, we have the unified API to manage all these resources together. We have you reuse OpenStack resources to provide multiple kind of uh, cloud, cloud applications. We can support create applications by YAML. Uh, let me come back to EasyStack. EasyStack product line is here. We have the ESCAS 3.0 for all this together. We have the ES Cloud Pass for the industrial product line like a container service, big data, uh, which based on the Sahara, we have the database like Chov, we have ICN and NFE solutions for the telecom uh, customers, we have ES Cloud, the basic uh, OpenStack solutions uh, of EasyStack, we have all these components in the uh, ES Cloud right now, and we have ES Core because uh, we do OpenStack, that, but it's Except for the OpenStack, you have to do the multi, uh, lower uh, components like uh, uh, operation system uh, and uh, uh, Ceph or the Lisp kernel. We have all contribute all this code to the community and uh, stay up online to uh, uh, make sure that all uh, the customer's uh, environment is stable and secure. This is easy Ceph. In Barcelona Summit, we have three other sessions you can choose to learn. We want to highlight the, the, the first is the post saving bank of China with the most of outlets embrace uh, mobile internet by using OpenStack. Uh, you can see us there. And thanks. We are a satisfied. You can find us here. Thank you. Thank you all for listening.